Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. This is your first time coming across the channel. Please press that subscribe button below. A thumbs up or a comment below would be really appreciated. So, folks, it looks like Bonangoli is on his way out of Celtic until the summer. He's reportedly going to go to a Russian team that's second last in the Russian Premier League called FC UFA. Now, they're close to the Kazakhstan border, close to Kazan as well. He's played twice this season, 31 games altogether for Celtic. We all know what happened last season with the massacre of Kilmarnock when he um, obviously breached COVID restrictions and went to Spain. And he went on loan to a team in Istanbul, got a bit of Champions League experience. But this is a guy that Kieran Tini's replacement spent three million on this guy from Rapid Vienna. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked out for him. And the same situation as well with Taylor. Taylor's getting football, but he's not being consistent. And we do need to strengthen in the summer when it comes to that back position. People want to see Scales play more. I love to see Scales play more, but is it a case that Andrew doesn't, and doesn't trust him on a week in and week out basis? He has a couple of goals so far, but I think it's a good bit of experience for Ballingoli. At the end of the day, he's going to be playing against the likes of Zenit, St. Petersburg, the teams from Moscow as well, Spartak. Diamond on Moscow, local model from Moscow. And hopefully we can recuperate some sort of feedback on this as well. Hopefully it's an option to buy because his contract is up in the summer of 2023. So let me know what you think of Bolingoli leaving the club. Hopefully, yet he's on the way and Barcast is on the way soon. We can get rid of him. Hopefully we can offload him very max by the summer. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll speak to you all soon. Hell, hell, up the Celts.